are apt to rub shoulders with them any day on crowded streets. These American men and women without a country. To all appearances, they lead the lives of average Americans. They seek employment. They look for a place to live. But though they are Americans, they may not vote. They have no civil rights because not so long ago, they formed part of the population of the big house. Convicts imprisoned for their crimes. For good behavior, they have been released on parole. Free, but living under the watchful eyes of a parole officer. You've got a good record, Helen. Keep it up. Now remember, no drinking. Yes, sir. No staying out at night. Yes, sir. And no falling in love. That is, not yet. No, sir. Gee, didn't we have fun last night? I could even stand Knuckle to be with the Levines. You know why I like to be with them so much? Why? It's the only time I get called Mrs. Dennis. We don't have to pretend around them. Oh, Joe, I wish I could climb to the roof and hold everyone who goes by. Hey, I'm Mrs. Dennis. What are you trying to put over? Are you and Helen putting on a swell sister act? Or is she taking you for a nice, juicy ride? You mean you didn't know it? She's been making a sap out of you all this time. Don't you see how silly you were, darling? Oh, I just get crazy ideas. I'm, I'm so crazy about you, Helen. I... We're crazy about each other. It isn't you and it isn't me. You and me. Hey, if I had a girl like that, I'd have some sense. Where'd you get a girl like that, Joe? I got mine out of jail. Joe. They raise them smart there. Smart enough to kid a guy like me into marrying her. Joe. I wasn't any bargain either. I told you that. But I told you. I didn't marry a lion to you and cheating you. You should be pretty proud of yourself. Just skip it that I ever married you.